Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to use Skype mobile. So if you're using an Android device or iPhone device, I'm going to show you a basic tutorial on how to use Skype, how to add, how to add friends to your Skype account and how to message people on your Skype, Skype account. So if you, assuming you've already, you've already downloaded Skype and already have created an account with Skype, we're going to log into Skype. And to dictate this, I'm just going to basically use my mouse. I'm going to use it as a pointer. So the first thing that we're going to look at is contacts. Here is basically where you have all your contacts or where you add contacts. So if you have contacts already, which I doubt that you do, because otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you, if you did. But regardless, I'm going to be showing you how to add contacts anyway. So over here at the top here, at the small little button where you see an icon of a guy with a plus, that is where you add a buddy. That is where you add a contact. So you would go ahead and click on that. And then you would type in either their email address, their phone number, or I guess their Skype name if you know it. Now once you type it in, you would get, so I'm just going to type in a generic name. Let's type in, let's go ahead and type in David, just to give you an idea. So because it's just a, a random name I'm typing in, it's going to show me all the Davids that are on Skype. Now I, I don't want to know all the Davids that are on Skype. I want to know a specific David. So obviously I would type in David and I would then I would type in his last name. So if it's David and it starts with an S, I would type in S and it would show me all the Davids with an S and it would, I guess it would tell me the location. But because there are so many David S's, you need to be more specific. So once you have the name or the email address, you would basically type it in and then I guess, let me just click on this first one right here. You would click on that and then you would do a send contact request. Now once you send a contact request, I'm just going to show you guys an example. You would basically, it would show up in your Skype contacts. And now you could go ahead and call that person before they even accept your request. So if you want to do a video call or a regular Skype call, then you would be able to do that. But unfortunately, you would not be able to message them just yet, just because they haven't accepted your friend request yet. Yeah, I know that does sound a little bit strange, but that's just the way it works. So again, you can place a video call or a regular Skype call. And that is pretty much it before they accept your contact request. Once they accept your contact request, you can go ahead and message them. So that is that. Now I'm going to go back now and show you guys. Once you have that added, you can go ahead and click on them. And you can go ahead and message them from there from the from, from the contact screen. Or uh, you can message one of your bots. This is just, this is automatic. This is a sound test service that automatically comes with Skype. Uh, here's another contact that I have. Um, I can go ahead and message. No, I can't message them because they haven't accepted my, my contact request yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on back. And uh, again, once they've accepted your friend request, you can go ahead and click on their name and you'll see a video icon there at the middle of the screen. And also on top of the screen, you can go ahead and click on that and it will contact them. So again, you basically click on the contact name. Once you're in the contact name, you would you would uh, be able to type a message or you can go ahead and video call them, which is this button right here, or regular call them. This is a regular Skype call. This is a video Skype call. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. So we've covered that basically. And um, we're going to go ahead and in the recent tab, you'll see all the people that you that you've recently contacted. So if you contacted David S or if you contacted this guy right here or a bot, it'll be in your recent tab. And if you just wanted to remove them, you would click on edit. You would click on their name, which is right there. I, I, I just, okay, there we go. It shows the check mark. So I've added the check mark and I would just click on delete. It obviously would not delete the contact request. It would just delete the recent tabs. So I'm just gonna click on delete and uh, it would delete the chat history as well. Or you can just click on hide chat. So let's hide the chat so that we don't see that there because you kind of want to save onto your chat history so that you get an idea of who that contact is. So we've covered recent, we covered contacts. Uh, these buttons I'm not really going to get into in this video. If you guys do want me to get deeper into this Skype tutorial, then I definitely will make another video, but, uh, video, but I just wanted to cover the basics. Okay, so now that we've covered recent and we've covered contacts, I'm gonna head on over to calls and just to give you guys an idea. So go ahead and click on calls and here's basically where you add Skype credit in order to call mobile cell phones or if you didn't want to call a landline you would need to have skype credit and as you can see here i have zero dollars in skype credit now in order to ask in order to add skype credit you would simply click on that zero 
and then it would give you an option here to add 699 credit i think that is the minimum as of now and uh, it would it would basically just ask you for your credit card information and you would type that in send a confirmation to your email and then it would add 699 of skype credit pretty self self explanatory there Okay, so once you have Skype credit in your account, you can go ahead and go back into calls and uh, and then you'll see these uh, blue buttons there. You'll always see these blue buttons, but anyway, this is your number pad. You can go ahead and click on that. And here is where you basically add the country. So if you wanna call Albania or if you wanna call Antarctica, it'll add the, the proper digits in there in order in order to call that country. And then obviously you would type in the area code and the phone number itself and then you would either call them or once again, once you have the proper phone number in there, you would be able to message them as well. And of course that would use Skype credit. Now, if you did want to just call somebody on Skype, it does not require any credit. It is completely free. So you can place a video call with them or you can just chat with them and it doesn't cost anything as long as they have Skype. But again, if you wanted to call a landline or if you wanted to call a cell phone in a different country than, or even in the same country locally, that would require Skype credit. So now you basically know how to add a contact, you know how to message a contact, you know how to video call a contact, and do a regular call for a contact. And here is, on this tab in within the contacts, we have all online and bots. And you can just click on online to see who's online and it'll show you all the people that are online. Now these people are obviously bots and you'll see a green little dot all the way at the bottom right edge of the screen of the, sorry, of the icon. And if you just wanna see the bots that are online, you would click on bots. Anyway, that is pretty much going to be it for this basic tutorial. If you guys want me to go in deeper and show you some of the, some of the other options of how to call forward and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section below and I definitely will make another video, but I just wanted to give you guys a basic tutorial on how to do, how to add contacts and how to place phone calls with Skype. If you guys were looking for a desk, a uh, Windows version of this tutorial, I do, I have created one and I will link it in the, in the, um, I'll place a little icon here, I guess, where you can click on and it will take you to that video. Otherwise, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully, this video did help you out. If it did, leave a like. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.